So everyone wants to make money playing online poker. The question is, is it possible or just impossible and not even worth trying? Well, I'm here to tell you it's definitely possible, but it's not by any means easy. And if you've been playing for any amount of time, you've probably figured that out already. Now, I'm going to cover five things you're going to have to get good at in order to see your win rate go up every time you get into a poker session. I'm also going to be breaking down six hands here in Ignition Poker. And of course, if you guys are looking for any good online poker sites, definitely recommend Ignition. We'll have some bonus and resource links in the description. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the limits you need to be playing. Now, this is extremely important, and I think a lot of people overlook this. Now, you should be playing games that are at least $100. If you're playing anything below that, it's going to be really hard to make a side income playing online poker. Now, the reason for that, you ask, well, you know, you only have so much time to play poker and if you're playing low limits you're just not going to make a whole lot plus what i've found you know playing over the years is that you know the players that are playing the micro stake and low stake games are basically the same level of players at the mid stake games okay the next tip is also a big one don't multi-table more than two tables at once now once you start playing three or four tables at a time you're not going to be able to focus on what you're doing plus if you're playing high enough limits, like I just mentioned, it's not even going to matter. So don't play more than two tables at a time. This hand was actually pretty ridiculous here. We were going to turn a deuce. How sick that would have been, right? Okay, uh, the next tip here is also a, a really good one. And it's something I've been doing for like the last two or three years. And it's really helped my win rate. And that's to keep your sessions when you're playing cash games between an hour to an hour and a half at a time. Then quit for the day or take a break. So playing online poker in spurts will give you an edge over the people sitting there playing for endless hours. And if you really think about this... Um, Maybe you played for like five, six, seven hours straight and you were doing really good in the beginning and then you ended up tilting off all your money and losing. You know, you need to give your brain a rest and take breaks. So I really got to reiterate this. Keep your sessions to an hour to an hour and a half at a time. Then take a break. Try that for a couple of weeks and see what happens. I think you're going to see a really you know, positive outcome from trying that. Okay, next would be to really focus on the hands you're playing. So you need to limit distractions as much as possible. This is another thing that took me years to get good at, but if you've got the TV on while you're playing um, or whatever, you could be doing anything, honestly. Maybe you're playing video games while you're playing online poker. I've done that before. Uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, just focus on what you're doing for the time you're playing and you know, good things are going to happen. Now, finally you're going to have to get good at putting people on ranges of what they have. Now, this is something that comes with experience of playing, you know, hundreds of thousands of hands. But, you know, the skill, when you develop it, it's going to pay dividends long term. So eventually, just after playing so many hands, like I said, you're just going to get an idea of what your opponent has based on his pre-flop play, his flop play with different board textures. So, you know, just to kind of recap on all these, you know, the first thing would be play high enough limits to make it worth it where you can make a side income. Don't play any games lower than $100. Don't multi-table more than two tables at once. Two tables is perfect, especially if you're playing high enough limits. Uh, the next tip is to just keep your sessions between an hour to an hour and a half at a time and then take a break. That's huge. Limit distractions and focus on the hands and games you're playing. And then start to get good at putting people on ranges of what they have, right? That's uh, These are all big things. I mean, I could give you even more tips. It's just that you have to get good at each one. And online poker, it's like a, it's like a game, right? Like you're going to level up the more you play. And, you know, you're not going to see the results unless you're playing all the time. Okay, anyways, uh, feel free to chime in too below in the comments if you have any questions about any of those tips. This hand was pretty ridiculous. All right, so I had a 7-5 suited. I love playing this hand. I think it was uh, the hand in Casino Royale. Um, and I think that's why I always love to play it, but it doesn't really matter. Any 7-5 suited, I always either raise with it or I'll call a raise with it. You know, sometimes it get pretty crazy. And honestly, this board, you know, <laughs> we're looking for a Miracle 6. Um really no runner runner flush possibilities unfortunately so i mean yeah we're looking at what uh four outs here a four outer to win this hand possibly now this guy had 190 bucks left i decided to make this call kind of loose but it is what it is 
Um, queen on the turn, really bad card for us. Uh, at this point, folding should be the move here. Not a whole lot in the pot either. But for whatever reason, I just got really stubborn on this hand and called it. Now, that was just a terrible suck out for this guy. It was uh, pretty ridiculous. And yeah, sometimes when you're playing, you get lucky and, you know, you hit your miracle cards. There's nothing you could do about that. So clearly I put in a bet here. This hand was just so sick. But like I said, it's the James Bond uh, Casino Royale hand, man. I got to play it. All right, so I put this guy all in. And he called. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see his cards. It would have been really sick if he had like three jacks or something. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see it. And, uh, you know, we had the nuts on that hand on the river. It was just uh, super lucky, guys. Absolutely just just luck. Okay, um, next hand we had a 6-4. And this is going to be the last hand I'm going to go over. Now, this was interesting because I would never play this hand, especially unsuited. It's just that I was in the small blind. And you're going to get to see just, like, the situation that occurred with this one. And, you know, I... I honestly think that my play wasn't terrible. It's just weird how this hand played out. But yeah, I mean, it's like the flop you're about to see with this 6-4 offsuit, it's like the only time that you're going to make a call. <laughs> like, I I can't even explain it. It's just, uh, it was just a ridiculous hand. All right, so we had a limp. All that guy had to do was raise, and I was definitely out of this hand. And it's going to end up costing him for sure. Now, look at that flop, guys. Up and down straight draw with the 6-4 offsuit. I mean, you got to be kidding me. It's like there's no way to get away from this hand now. All right, this guy uh, basically bet it. I had to make the call here. Thank God that player folded. I didn't really want to see it, but somehow we won with a pair of fours, uh, which was just absolute craziness. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more poker content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next poker video.